Oops, yeah. I'm awful. I have to go deposit some money at the bank and buy some things at the mall. Okay, oh. But deposit money at this time. Which bank is still open? Oh, Akusia. With a Stambic ATM, even without your debit card, you can deposit money at the ATM. And you know the ATM that's in close. It is 24-7. Oh, wow. That's good, oh. You know, as for me, when I close late, I have to carry the money on me home. With hey. all the rest. And sometimes, even when I'm asleep and I hear mosquitoes making noise in my ears, I have to wake up and check if the money is still there. <laughs> oh, Akosia, don't make me I'm laugh. I'm serious, Dede. It's not easy for me at all. Me, Kebu. Hey, Beje, no kobi view. I'm off to the mall now. your videography and photography needs contact us at www.theoasisstudios.com or call 
this Christmas Eve our care and delight to prepare ourselves to hear again the message of the angels in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass and the babe lying in a manger. Let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. And let us use this venue, a holy place of worship, glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of this whole world, for peace and goodwill over all the earth, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in the dominions of our president, His Excellency, Nana Adudankwa Akufuadu, and Ghana, our beloved country, as well as for the whole body of Christ. And because this is of all things, we rejoice his heart, let us at this time remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry, and the oppressed, the sick in body and in mind, and them that mourn, the lonely and the loved, the aged and the little children, or who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Let us, lastly, remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore, and in a greater light, that multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in this Lord Jesus Christ, we forevermore are one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life and unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of angels bring us all. Amen.
God tells sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. And they heard a sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. Then the Lord God called Adam and said to him, Where are you? So he said, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, who told you you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you that you should not eat? The man said, the woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me of the tree of light, of, of the tree to, and I ate. And the Lord said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman said, the serpent deceived me and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed among all, the, all cattle and among more than the beasts of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his heel. Thanks be to God.
God promises to faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son. Blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is in, on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. Thanks be to God.
the prophet foretells the coming of the Savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, No End. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks to be God.
Messiah. But you, Bethlehem Ephrata, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, but from everlasting, therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide. For now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God.
Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also, that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the servant of the Lord. May it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
Christ, born of Mary. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, is of the Holy Spirit, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. Now they were in the same country, shepherds living out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swelling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. So it was when the angels had gone away from them into heaven that the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made us know. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Thanks be to God.
God bless them, little baby cat. Be salvation to the soul. wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem saying, where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, in Bethlehem in Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child. And when you have found him, Bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they heard the king, they departed. And behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Thanks be to God.
St. John unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but he was sent to bear witness to the light. That was the true light that gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God. Beloved, shall we pray? Eternal Father, we feel so overjoyed. We are like the shepherds to whom you sent your angels to go and tell of the good news of salvation through a child born in Bethlehem. Thank you that we can commemorate this birth but Lord, now we await the second coming of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. And this evening, our prayer is that just as you gave to the shepherds the joy of going to see that baby child, so fill us with joy to behold the glory of your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, risen from the dead and seated at your right hand, ready to re-enter his world, this time as judge and as the fulfillment of our salvation. Father, help us to know that Christmas is beyond the joy of tinsel, the many foods that we eat, that it is beyond the gifts that we receive. It is most of all that great gift of love that you've put in our hearts to share with our fellow human beings. And this love brings peace, O oh Lord our God. We need peace in our world, particularly in this our dear nation. Breathe your peace into our nation, let your angels walk the four corners of this land. And wherever they go, may they spread peace to those whose hearts are bitter, those whose hearts are hurting, those who feel that unless they become violent, they will not be able to get what they're looking for. Eternal God, you have told us that peace, is of those who want to live to please you. May we all live to please you and thereby be agents of your peace. For us, who by grace have been given salvation, you have made us agents of peace. Indeed, you say we are peacemakers, blessed to be sons of you, the eternal Father. So this Christmas, let there be two words on our lips all the time. Love that fosters peace. Love and peace. 
to all. Even those who do not like us, we will extend peace. Thank you, O Lord our God, and come quickly, Lord Jesus. Maranatha. Amen.
I'm awful. I have to go deposit some money at the bank and buy some things at the mall. Okay, oh, but deposit money at this time. Which bank is still open? Oh, Akusia. With a Stambik ATM, even without your debit card, you can deposit money at the ATM. And you know the ATM doesn't close. It is 24-7. Oh, wow. That's good, oh. You know, as for me, when I close late, I have to carry the money on me home with hey. all the rest. And sometimes even when I'm asleep and I hear mosquitoes making noise in my ears, I have to wake up and check if the money is still there. <laughs> oh, Akosia, don't make me I'm laugh. I'm serious, Dede. It's not easy for me at all. Me careful. Hey! Bejay no kobi view. I'm off to the mall now. For all your videography and photography needs, contact us at www.theoasisstudios.com or call 0246-821-627.
what a wonderful evening we have had. We couldn't have had a better foretaste of Christmas. COVID or no COVID, Christmas will be celebrated because the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ is a reality, it's a historical fact, and we cannot do without it. So our first acknowledgement is to Jesus Christ who allowed himself to come into our world to touch our lives. We want to acknowledge also Reverend Canon Samuel Lankwe Lamte, who is a priest in service this evening. There are many people who have supported us and we want to thank them. They are always ready to serve us. Whenever we, call, we go running after them to give us some money, they oblige. For some, it's difficult, but they oblige. We acknowledge all of you. We can't call you by name. To our readers, we'd like to acknowledge you. Thank you very much. The notice was short, but you rose to the occasion. We'd like to, of course, acknowledge the director of music and executive director of Harmonious Chorale, Sir James Barak Amar. Shall I say he's a new father? And what God has done is that the son was also born on Friday. So we want to thank the Lord for that and to beautiful Dorcas for giving us a wonderful Nido, but also Stanley and his team and all those photographers and videographers who have enabled us to be with you in your homes. For the 11,000 people who are viewing this, God bless you. God bless you. Now you make us know that even if we can't meet face to face, we can, and together, we say once again, Lord Jesus, thank you for coming as a baby. You're no longer a baby, but you come to us every day as we pray. And we want to thank you and we want to bless your holy name. Beloved in the Lord, thank you all men and women and children. Remain blessed. pray. O oh God, who makes us glad with a yearly remembrance of the birth of your only son, Jesus Christ, grant that as we joyfully receive him for our Savior, so we may with sure confidence behold him out and amen. Christ, who by his incarnation gathered into one thing, earthly and heavenly, filled the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.
Wakusia. It's still open. Oh, Wakusia. With a Stambik ATM, even without your debit card, you can deposit money at the ATM. And you know the ATM doesn't close. It is 24-7. Oh, wow. That's good, though. You know, as for me, when I close late, I have to carry the money on me home. With hey. all the rest. And sometimes even when I'm asleep and I hear mosquitoes making noise in my ears, I have to wake up and check if their money is still there. <laughs> oh, Akusia, don't make more now. <laughs>